Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Today's game will be played in the controlled climate of a dome. So let's get set for the Texas A&M Aggies and the Clemson Tigers. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Tigers. The Aggies don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Clemson looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. Clemson will be tough in this one. Clemson has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Kirk takes it to 14. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Well, guys, I think the player to watch today is in the defensive backfield. You're right about that, Brad. This safety has the speed of a cornerback and the hitting ability of a linebacker. That's what makes him a dynamic player. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if we saw a couple of picks by this guy today. I'm predicting at least one, Coach. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Aggie line up in an eye formation. And they hit him in the backfield. That blitz was coming pretty hard that time, Kirk. There was just nowhere for the running back to go. Great penetration by this defense. It's second down now, 14 to go. Gives it right side. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. Maybe a few, but that's it. Third down. Drops back to pass. Slips it short. And it falls incomplete. Kirk was the intended target on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Hopkins is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets it off. Hopkins fields it to 17. Oh, what a hit. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. And with their defense forcing the punt, it allows them to have a shot at getting the first points on the board. They'll get the ball here at the 22-yard line. Clemson lines up in a double tight set. Watson off the fake. And that one's fallen incomplete. Fowler was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. From their own 22-yard line. Second and 10. Number 23 is the single setback. They can't connect. Incomplete. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. Third, Third down. down. The Tigers line up with three wide. Throws it deep downfield. He goes up and gets it. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. You drop back to pass and see zone. It's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows, I bet you. One man backfield. Watson goes with a play fake. Throws short. Way to look it in. About three yards on the play fake. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 40. Watson with three wide receivers. He drops back, and he throws right away. Gets past the tackler. 
Excellent open field tackle. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Tigers line up with a single setback to it. Wind brings him down at the 33-yard line. And they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he could get to the sticks. And it's the offense. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Watson set to go to the air. He darts it over the middle. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Brad Nessler and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Today's game will be played in a controlled climate of a dome. So let's get set for the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Houston Cougars. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Cougars. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Houston has a young man at wide receiver that is so dangerous every time he touches the football. I think this one's going to be close, but the key here is whether or not he can be contained for the entire game. And I say no. There won't be any upsets today, Kirk. Woo! <laughs> We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Childs fields it at the 11. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. This secondary has been waiting all week long to go up against this very skilled quarterback. How do you think they'll match up today? This kid is a great player. And I think as long as he doesn't try to force things too much, he's going to have a great game. This defense is going to have to show all kinds of looks today. If they don't keep this quarterback off balance, this game could be over at halftime. Second and two. Ball on the 38-yard line. Arkansas comes out in the shotgun. On play action. Let's it fly. The senior makes the catch. So he found his receiver for the first down. First down. Drops back on first down. Let's it fly. He snags it. Reddick tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. They're stopped two yards behind the line. It's second down and 12. Ball on their own 43. Inside give. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. They gained five yards there. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 48. Looking to throw. Look. Under heavy pressure. How about the athletic move by that kid? Unbelievable for his size. Boy, is he an amazing athlete? You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 19 will be the return man. He gets it away. Number 19 fields it to 17. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Here's a little draw play. Davis tackles him for a loss on the play. 
That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers were able to roam free and make plays like that. It falls incomplete. Number 35 was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. From their own 19-yard line, here's third and 11. Number seven is back in the gun. Going deep, lays it out there. Oh, so close to breaking it. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Houston lines up with three receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. He's tackled at the 35. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second and three. Ball on the 35. Number seven has four receivers lined up here. He's rolling left. He's going left. Again, it's complete. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. They're in the red zone. Houston comes out in the shotgun. He steps up, looks over the middle, and he came down with it. What a catch! Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Yeah, the quarterback said, you want the ball, go get it. Did he ever. He got it, he took it for six. And they're ready to punt this one away. Mussing awaits the snap. Mussing punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. Burton takes it to the 23. Well, these guys must have some faith in their defense, fellas. Yeah, if this team has any chance of coming back in this one, they need to stop this offense for a three and out right now. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. At the 25-yard line. First and 10. McFadden on the handoff. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. McFadden gains about four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. On the -yard line. They line up in an eye. McFadden gets the call again. Jefferson brings him down for a loss, and the blitz might have caused that one. Now the defense took a chance here. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. Third down and seven. Five wide. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket, throws this one out to the left. Got it. He's all the way down to the 42. They can pretty much watch the clock tick away after that first down, Kirk. Yep. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. No complaints about the weather tonight, as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here comes the Fighting Irish. The Fighting Irish believe that they're the better team. Who are you taking in this one, Herbie? Notre Dame has a running back that may be the difference in this game. They believe, and I tend to agree with them, that they can run the football. And if they can keep the mistakes to a minimum, look for them to pull off the upset. No chance. This one's easy. I'm picking. Notre Dame is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And it's a short kickoff. Ward takes it to 15. 
Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. This drive will start at the 29-yard line. Hampton, the lone back on play action. Across the middle, it falls incomplete. Scott was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. Second, second down, 10, ten yards to go. -yard line. Georgia sets up in the eye. Couldn't get anything out of that. From their own 29-yard line, they're down at 10 coming up. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He's looking for his man. It's complete. Way to look it in. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. Number 14 has four receivers lined up here. Play action. He passes it. His receiver has it. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. First it's first down. Ball on the 42-yard line. One man backfield. Hampton, the ball carrier, brought down at the 38-yard line. Hampton gets about four yards on the play. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 38. It's second down, six yards to go. From the gun, here's the option. A tackle at the 33-yard line. Solid five-yard pickup there on the halfback option. Third and one, ball on the 33-yard line. They come out with a big set. Hampton gets the ball. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. And they convert the first down on that run. Yeah, the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. You're right. And those are the kind of runs that you need to have a successful offense. They line up at the 28. First down. Hampton alone in the backfield. They'll throw on first down. He might have a chance. He's tackled at the 16-yard line. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. First down, 10 to go. They're inside the 20. The Bulldogs come out showing three wide. Let's it fly. Another catch. Our cameraman didn't even know who had the ball. I'm pretty sure the defense didn't either. The halfback did a heck of a job faking like he was running with the ball. <laughs> they were about to tackle him. First it's first and goal. goal. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. They've got about 100 tight ends in there for this goal line play. They'll bring him down at the one. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. We've got second and goal. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Hampton on the run. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. Georgia lines up in the power eye set. Hampton gets another carry. He followed his blocks and rammed his way into the end zone. He had a back beat to 37-yard field goal. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. And it is good. Notre Dame gets set to kick this one away. He sends it off. Russell has it at the five. 
So what do you think about this situation, fellas? At this point, I think this game looks like it's out of reach, Coach. Nah, not so fast, Kirk. It's only a two-possession game, and these guys won't give up. A quick score, an onside kick, and another quick score, and we're talking about a completely different situation. Drops back to pass. Looks. He's looking down the middle. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. First and 10. Ball on their own 40. The Bulldogs line up with a single set back to him. He looks. Got hit as he threw. And that one's incomplete. Yo. You can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. No, that Kirk. He was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Georgia lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. They can't connect. Incomplete. Hampton was the intended target. That'll make it third down. Third and ten. He drops back. He gets rid of it. The ball is tipped. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me, as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the UCLA Bruins and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Cornhuskers. The Cornhuskers look like the better team on paper, but what do you think of this matchup here, Kirk? Nebraska is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Nice pick, Kirk. I can't go against the basket. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He sends it downfield. Stokes takes it from the six. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. The player to watch today is on the defensive side of the ball, lining up at cornerback. Yep, when this kid steps up, this defense plays a lot better. He does a good job of locking down receivers and taking away one side of the field. Kirk, I know you like this kid. How do you think he'll play? It's hard to say, Coach. He's going up against some great receivers today. We'll keep an eye on him as the game plays out. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 29. They line up in an eye. Taken down at the 34. About five yards there on the fullback carry. From their own 34-yard line. Third and five coming up. The Bruins line up with a single set backfield. And they try to set up a screen. And he's hit hard at the 30. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 23 is back awaiting the punt. He gets it off, and it's out of bounds at the 49. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. The Husker come out in the ace formation. Little shake and bake move. Baker brings him down at the 43-yard line. Rodgers gains about five yards on the run. Second 
They line up at the 43. It's second down. The Cornhuskers line up with three wide. Tries to juke. They'll get him for a loss. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. Rodgers lines up as a single back, throws this one out to the left, to the 20. And he's all the way down to the nine yard line. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. It's first and goal. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. The Huskers come out in a two tight end set. Here's the halfback. They'll bring him down at the seven yard line. That'll be a two yard gain. Second down and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. Rodgers is the deep back as they line up in the eye. The halfback with a carry. And he's taken down at the three yard line. Rodgers picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it third down. We've got third and goal. Ball on the three yard line. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Frazier hands off. The halfback ran it in for the touchdown. I'd give this guy the ball every time. Second down. Ball on the 27 yard line. Number 16 with three wide receivers. He's under some heat. Across the middle. And this one falls incomplete. 